Oh my god. Oh, my full. Just had a nice meal at uh, McGinnis behind there. You know, a couple of people invited me over and it was nice. But um, there's really, uh, there's something I really want to discuss. Don't just go to Google, write my name, Charles LeBlanc, and you'll see the whole story. But uh, a lot of people are very, very angry. Very, very angry on the man. Yeah, yeah, we're coming here. Um, of the man, yes, relax. On the manner that the Edmiston police, with the orders of the Fredericton police, the way that they uh, grabbed me on the, off the street on November 8th. A lot of people are afraid. Lots of people are coming to me and say, what's going on? And I tell them, listen, this is, uh, this is what happens when you try to fight for what you believe is right, and especially against crooked cops from the Fredericton Police Force. They've been going after me for 10 years. Started in St. John, but we're not gonna, gonna go into details. But what is very, very, very scary it's uh, the politicians are very, very quiet. <clears throat> very quiet on this issue. This issue is worse. When they raided this place here, eight, ten cops, and they took all my stuff for about three months, they went through hard drive, every hard drive, 350,000 pictures. They, uh, they were looking for child porn. They were hoping, say, well, he takes pictures. Uh, he lives alone, and, uh, you know, he has to be into child porn. They went fishing, they failed, and they created a monster. Now, I seen a politician yesterday. I shut the camera off. And I said, okay, what's your opinion on this? Nothing. Oh, I can't say, I can't say. I gave the politician a break. I said, okay. I could have hunt the person down for about four blocks, ask questions. But our local politicians are saying nothing. Absolutely nothing. So this tells me there's something bigger that's coming. The police commission, I put the complaint in, that's done and over with. Uh, there could be Bill 51 that the police of Fredericton thought of doing something. I don't know what. There's something. But uh, what's the other point? See, I got to start marking things down before I do these videos. Um, Let's get one thing straight here. I went to the Baptist Church, Brunswick Baptist Church. I love going there. I love the choir. Terry Atkinson, I miss him. No longer there. But I don't mind going there when I want to relax. But it was sort of different last uh, Sunday. Because they invite the cops there every two or three months. And that's when I don't go, say, you know, the police, they're our leaders, they need our respect and all that, and we have to praise them. I miss that, that service. But they were looking at me in a different way last Sunday, because the Irving paper had two paragraphs. Mr. LeBlanc called police officers pedophiles. Call police officer pedophiles. They were looking at me in a different way, like, you shouldn't be calling police officers pedophiles. Now, a lot of people had these idiots, coward jerk face, <clears throat> go around and say, well, on Facebook or whatever, the blog, and trying to get in and say, Oh, you can't go around and call police officers pedophiles. 
Now, let's get one thing straight here right now. That's why I don't... I can't see a prosecutor to accept this. Criminal Code 300. Five years in jail. Now, if I turn around, out of the blue, call police officers, pedophiles. Okay. I'm guilty. Guilty. But that's not what happened. They came after me. The minute Stephen Stafford was acquitted, the one that beat up the soldier or whatever in front of the IROC that I filmed, the minute he was acquitted, they came after me. Okay? They first came, Fred Wazzo, with that ticket. Uh, we got the video, we know the whole story. Fred Wazzo refused to talk to Bernard Richard. But this time, in a court, we're going to hear everything. And you know what? He touched my balls. I don't lie. He touched my balls. Fred Wazzo. And then, they continue. And then they say, here's a ticket. You were seen riding your bicycle nine days ago on the sidewalk. $140 fine. $140, can you imagine? And they thought it was funny. Now what else? And then we came with the, uh, the rate. And I knew they were looking for child porn. I knew it. And then we seen the Bernard Richard report on page 41. He mentioned the uh, child sexual exploitation. He was very concerned and this wasn't right. So the minute I found out that they accused me of having sex with kids that did it, I fought back and called them pedophiles. They called me pedophiles, I called them pedophiles. And that's where the war went. 301, they screwed up. Then the Bernard Richard report it took me years to calm down. And I finally did. And then November 8th, the day that Donald Trump was elected president, a couple of hours before, two cops from the Edmiston Police Force came after me. And it, was, it wasn't good. Two plain cops came, one in front, one behind me. I didn't know what was going on. They told me to go for a drive. Go for a drive at the police station. And then the guy, what's his name again? Oh, uh, yeah. Andre Madal said he was the police chief of Edmiston. I said, what the hell is a police? No police chief goes around to arrest people. And that's where the confrontation started. So anyway, we know what happened. And... Really, there should be more of a public outward that pe cops could come from another city and grab people off the street. But we're going to find out what's going on. It's up to the Justice Department. Of course, they, they socialize together. Judge, prosecutor, they're all together. But we're going to find out. So, if the New Brunswick uh, government, or I mean the Justice Department, they're all together. The social elitist said, okay, we're going to charge him under 300. Hey, bring it on. Bring it on. No problem. Because I didn't start this. And I have the evidence. And then we could really, really, really question what's going on. And it's an uh, indictable offense. Five years in jail. So that means... They'll have to pay me a lawyer. We're not going to have the Rick Cove or the uh, duty council. We're going to have a lawyer. This is human rights. This is could set up a case law. So I presume I have some contacts. I'm you know names. We'll get a good lawyer from Ontario. Then you need a preliminary hearing to find out if there's enough evidence to proceed to trial. The way they're treating me, I don't know. it's going to be interesting. So... Let's see if the city, uh, not the city, but Mike O'Brien, he's involved in this. No question about it. And I'm sorry for the long-winded video. I apologize. 
And let's see if Michael, uh, if the province of New Brunswick had so much money, so much money that they could spend. This would be, in my opinion, a jury and everything. I see a trial last about two or three weeks. See these cops crying on the stand, a bunch of pussy. I mean, uh, all them went not pussies, but wimps. So uh, too much steroid in their brain. Ooh. Oh, maybe that's an offense, 300. So stay tuned. It's going to get very interesting. I'm not sleeping with my eyes open. I just did this video just to set the facts straight. That they're the one that started, and I'm the welfare bum, and I'm Scottish, and I fight back.